Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about dividing mixed numbers. So I have prepared two different examples for you to familiarize the process on how to divide mixed numbers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So when you say mixed numbers, it is the combination of a whole number and a fraction. Ito yung mga examples natin ng mixed numbers. We have here 4 and 1 sixth. Tapos yung isa natin is 2 and 2 thirds. Itong dalawang to ay puro mixed numbers lang. Bakit? Meron tayong combination ng whole number at ng fraction. Same with 2 and 2 thirds. Meron tayong whole number and a fraction. So ngayon, ang pinaka-focus talaga natin is on how to divide this kind of mixed numbers. So let's start with 4 and 1 over 6 divided by 2 and 2 thirds. Ano ba yung process ng ginagawa on how to divide mixed numbers? So una natin gagawin is we need to transpose or we need to convert these mixed numbers into improper fraction. Sir, paano ba yung ginagawa yan? So yung steps natin, simple lang naman. In converting, ito yung tandaan nyo, you need to multiply and add. You need to multiply and add. So sir, paano ginagawa yan? First, you need to multiply your denominator with your whole number. That is 4 times 6 or 6 times 4. That will give you 24. And then your product nila, mag-add ka ng 1 plus 1. That is 25. So again, paano nakuha yan? Multiply your denominator with the whole number. 6 times 4, that is 24, plus your numerator, which is 25. So you have here 25. And now for the denominator, copy mo lang yung original denominator ng iyong mixed number. So you have 25 over 6. And then copy the operation, which is division. Then for the second mixed number, ulitin mo lang yung process. Multiply your denominator. 6, sorry, 3 times 2, that is 6, plus 2, that will give you 8. And then copy your denominator, which is 3. Okay, let me repeat my steps. 3, your denominator, times 2, 6, plus 2, that is 8. And then copy your original denominator. Now, proceed na tayo sa pinaka-step talaga ng ating dividing mixed numbers. Alam, ba na, alam nyo ba na yung dividing mixed number ay napupunta sa isang multiplication of fraction? So, next step natin dito is to copy the first fraction or the first improper fraction. You have 25 over 6. And then you, you need to change this operation to multiplication. And then yung ating next fraction, which is 8 over 3, yung ating divisor, kulin natin yung kanyang reciprocal. Meaning, mag-interchange yung position ng numerator at denominator. So, it will become 3 over 8. Ayun yung gagawin natin. So, as you can see, since multiplication ng ating process, we need to follow the rules in multiplying fractions. You need to multiply the numerator to numerator and the denominators. So, as you can see, meron tayong 25 times 3. So, medyo malaki yan. At meron din tayong 6 times 8. Pero, ang, ang sabihin sa inyo dito is that pwede nyo naman palitin yung number. Paano? Observe nyo yung 3 and 6. These two numbers are both divisible or meron silang factor na 3. Meaning, we can cancel out this one. Cancel natin. Meron tayong 1. At ito yung cancel natin, meron tayong 2. Kasi meron tayong isang 3 sa 3, at meron tayong dalawang 3 sa 6. So, sa part na yan, mas limit yung number na kailangan natin i-multiply. So, continue natin. 25 times 1, that will give you 25. And then your denominators is simply 16 because you have 2 times 8. So, this is your answer, 25 over 16. Pero, Ang kailangan tandaan is that when you're dealing with 
the final answer of any fraction or any mixed number na gagawin nyo, you need to know or you need to check whether that fraction is already in standard form, is already in lowest terms or simplest form. Dito, wala na tayong common factor ng 25 over 16. But, yung ibang teacher, nagde-demand sila na instead of giving your answer as improper fraction, hiningin nila minsan yung mga mixed number din. So, kapag nakakuha kayo ng mixed fraction as your quotient, ang gagawin nyo is you need to convert it into mixed numbers. So, paano ginagawa yan? Let's say, for example, you have 25 over 16. So, you need to divide 25 by 16. 25 divided by 16, that will give you 1. And 1 times 16, that is 16. Subtract mo lang. This one is 9. Sir, paano ngayon natin gagawin yung mixed number yan? So, ang equivalent mixed number ng ating 25 over 16 is none other than 1 and 9 over 16. This is the final answer for the first example. Okay? Let's move on with the next example. We have here 1 and 4 over 5 divided by 1 and 1 half. And then you need to multiply and add. 5 times 1, that is 5, plus 4, that is 9. Then copy your original denominator, which is 5, divided by 2 times 1, that is 2, plus 1, that will give you 3. And then copy the denominator of your original mixed number, which is 2. And then, as you can see, okay na meron tayong proper fraction. Next step natin is to copy your dividend, 9 over 5. Change your operation to multiplication and get the reciprocal of this fraction. You have 2 over 3. Ngayon, you observe mo, yung 9 at 3, para sila may factor na 3. So we can eliminate this one, gawin natin 1, ito magiging... 3, kasi meron tayong tatlong 3 sa 9. And then multiply mo lang yung mga numbers. 3 times 2, that will give you 6. 5 times 1, that will give you over 5. So as you can see, wala na silang lowest terms. But we can still represent this improper fraction into mixed number. So 6 divided by 5. So 6 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract natin, may makukuha kang remainder na 1. So, ang kanyang equivalent mixed number, ito yung mag mo, 1. And then, ito rem remainder ay sa numerator. Yung iyong device or i, magiging denominator. So, the final answer is 1 and 1 over 5. So, I will give you a third example. Na kung saan, you will be applying what you have learned from this tutorial video. At sana yung maging sagot nyo ay ilagay nyo sa ating comment section. So, ito ang inyong third example. I will be giving you two and three over four divided by one and two over nine. Let me know your answer with regards to this third example on how to divide mixed numbers. Again, kung bago ko lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para update ito sa ating mga future uploads. I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!